Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I got a Chinese present again. I know I promised not to make any sponsored videos anymore, but I couldn't resist because they gave me a thermal camera for my iPhone. It's the Infiray P2 Pro and they advertise it as the smallest uh, thermal camera uh, in the world. They say it's 9 grams only. I measured it. It, it, uh, it is 10 and a half. But uh, anyway, it is tiny. So that's the box. And we have a cleaning pad, some accessories, a warranty card, and that's the camera. And this is an additional lens. That comes with the Pro package and normally this costs alone about 50 or 60 dollars because for a, th for a thermal camera you can't use glass lenses as you will see later. They are made of, well, I don't know, I have to google that. Okay, I googled it. Uh, they are made of germanium, mostly. There are other more exotic materials, but, well, this is probably a germanium lens. And the additional lens has a magnetic fixture and just goes over it. And it's a, a close-up lens, so you can go up to about 5 centimeters to an object. And that is great for example small components on the PCB. So let's see how it works. And it's in fact pretty simple. You just plug it into your phone. There is a, an iPhone version with that kind of connector. And there is of course uh, also for Android phones with a an USB plug or something like that. Then you download the app and you're ready to go. At the moment there is not much to see. You can see my hand and you can see the print of my hand, the thermal print here. And as I said before, you can see through glass. Glass is like a mirror, but you can see if you open the window and you also notice the sky is really, really cold. And speaking about cold things, you can't only see heat sources, you can also see if something is wet or even slightly damp, because wet surface surfaces uh, will uh, evaporate water or whatever it is, alcohol or whatever, and they cool down. And you can see wet spots, for example, on... on uh, walls, on ceilings, or on clothing, or whatever. And this is my kitchen sink with cold, then hot, and cold again water. And what I notice is it's absolutely shiny, it looks like a mirror, and in reality it certainly doesn't uh, look like that. I haven't polished it. In fact, many uh, metal surfaces look like polished, like mirrors, even if they are absolutely not polished at all. Here is another example. That's a server housing made of uh, brushed steel. And uh, you see the reflection of my hand. It looks like a perfect mirror. And also in reality, it's absolutely not a mirror at all. Here is another example of a tricky metallic surface. That's also a server with a sheet of paper on it. And uh, if you look at the metal, it seems to be cool and the sheet of paper seems to be much warmer. It's much whiter here in this image. And the reason is metallic surfaces, because they are like mirrors, you see a mirror image of, of the surroundings. You don't see the real uh, temperature of these uh, metallic surfaces. So you have to paint them black or apply a, a black sticker or a white sticker or something if you really want to measure the surface temperature of bare metals. 
And here is that little PCB from a hard disk drive again. You can see there are two chips that get relatively warm and the rest is still cold. And that's the same PCB, but this time with the macro lens. As I said, it's a distance of about four or five centimeters and you can even see the hotspot on the chip itself inside the package and also the chip inside the package. Quite interesting. And of course there are tons of setup possibilities in the app, so you can have different color schemes like black and white, rainbow, uh, white is hot, black is hot, and uh, you also see the hot spots, the cold spots. You have to try, you can download the app even without the camera and, well, play with that. Thank you.